Yeah. It's me Chuck again in another video and in today's video we're going to be doing my top 7 uh, video games at the moment and at all time. So these video games are very addictive so I'm warning you um, not to watch this video. I'm just joking guys, carry on watching and subscribing. My channel's been weird lately. A minute I'm 34 subscribers and then I'm back to 25 and now I'm 29 and 30. It's weird. Tell me about it. <laughs> Must be somebody being an idiot trying to do my channel. So we're going to start from 7th to 1. We're not going to say 7th uh, is bad. That's really good because the games I owned, massive. Just to say, this is Xbox 360 games. But the first one and the second one are definitely my favourite games of all time. Without dispute. And the DLC for the first one. That's pretty much a giveaway, but you don't know the games. So at number uh, seven, I got this basically my favourite game of all time. Mario Kart DS is, is not catching up to the high point of these Xbox games I love. So let's just get on with it, guys. Number seven, we got uh, Forza Motorsport 4. Love this game. Got it a couple years ago. Love the DLC of the added cars. I got this new. It's a. I'd say um, I probably shouldn't have ranked this seven. It depends because I haven't been playing it lately. I got a. I wanted the free roam more, and I'm trying to get into Forza Horizon more by watching videos by like AR12 and stuff. But at the moment, I I I I'm I'm with motorsports. I just it's undisputed. This game is the build up to for like. Forza Motorsports is Forza. Forza. And then Forza Horizon 1 came, and then, like, my friend told me about it. And then, like, it became apparently really good. So, yeah. Love this game. Great action in it. It's just some dirty drivers sometimes. Hmm. Let's move on, guys. At number. Um, just to say, I don't have any FIFA games in here. I used to love them, but I don't have any. Number six. I support Miami. Dolphins. And I love Madame. Without the spew, this is one of my favourite Madame games. But I really like the old series of the Madame. But the new features on this were changed. From Draft Championship was great. Like, they changed loads and, like, they added draft championship what was brilliant without dispute you should get this game even though it's one year old guys it's madden 16 i love this game and you get a premium code if you got it new from there let me just focus this in premium code from madden is short let's just have a look at this like they give you this code but i'm not going to show it like i'll just show you i don't want to show the code i think it's been used anyway so there you go 15 percent off and yeah, it was like, this game is brilliant. I mean, look at that disc. Like, the artwork on this game is brilliant. But I wouldn't say the graphics of the people weren't good. I remember seeing um, the managers, the eyes were just completely blacked out. It was weird. Like, the coaches on the NFL teams. And I loved playing this game. It was, uh, I would say, I rate it a 9 out of 10 all the time. And a 4 out of 5. Brilliant game. Without the spew, you've got to love it. Look at Odell Beckham catching that. Come on. So let's move on, baby. We've got to get this. Can't fit this video in in the end. Be careful. I love WWE. You can see that in my WWE move videos. So I got into the games, man. WWE 2K13 was my first. Then I went to 2K15. I love 2K15. Because my favourite wrestler is Shawn Michaels and they had a Shawn Michaels showcase with his Triple H Evolution showdown. It was so, so fun to play that. And then you have the John Cena CM Punk feud, so good. So I was thinking, like October, Halloween I got this. Because I played good in this golf tournament in the French. I was like, Mum, can you get me this game? This was, and then she was like, okay, you played well. So I got with the Goldberg um, H-Pack, so that's ripped because like I was dumb then. Yeah, 
I was done before I made my YouTube channel, obviously. So, this is a really good game. WWE 2K, Seren B. I would rate this probably a 9 out of 10. Or an 8. I love the theme tune songs they have in this, and it's really cool. It's like, I just hear Seth Rollins. Bam, and a bit bit of bam, and it's like really good in there. And then I like the WrestleMania 32 um, thing with the star, it's really cool. I watched WrestleMania last year, I'm gonna be watching that this year. I'm gonna be uh, probably not live streaming it because people will mostly be asleep from my audience, apart from a couple. But like, <laughs> this game gives me tears, man. You just see Brock Lesnar, that should be Goldberg or Undertaker. God, when they ever learn or Sephiroth, like it says, Welcome to Suplex City, and you have some. Uh, Nice uh, artwork on the disc you see there, and then you have like DFCs. You can have a look at this because I already done it. So like, oh, I don't sure. Don't look at it actually. I'm not sure if you could do it more than once. The thing, so I don't want to just give it away. Now let's move on to number four, baby. DLC of my first game, number four, got to be Red Dead Redemption. Um. Dead Nightmare Man, great game. I wouldn't say it was good as Red Dead Redemption. It didn't have much as a storyline. I'm still, I still haven't completed it because I got this second hand from a game shop called Sex and Town. And like every now and then, when we're like going to these places and trying to kill zombies, their heads just disappeared. The, that was bad. And like you should see this artwork. Oh wow! It was good. It was, it, well, we actually started off. Why me watching Nero cinemas? I just found out about him and I was like, really big fan of Red Dead. I still am. I love that game. And like, I I watched the series and it was like called Red Dead Redemption on Dead Man. I was like, I heard of this game before by this YouTuber who swears a lot. But um, and and then I watched the whole series. It was brilliant. And I love Nero cinemas. Go and check out his channel. Brilliant game, 10 out of 10, not really much artwork in there, apart from a receipt. So, uh, you have quite nice artwork, and it comes with brilliant packages. Thank you, Seth, for that. And, yeah, oh, yeah, very good game. Let's move on now. We don't have much time, because I'm going to make another video. I've got to upload this and I'm moving. Uh, don't worry. You know what I love, madam? Well, this year made it even better, baby. Better! Madam Seventeen Gronkowski, for Christ's sake! This game is brilliant. Look at that artwork. It's brilliant. But I say the lowest point from the Madam games are the graphics. So FIFA, but I like the stadiums more now. This game had a better, better arsenal of stadiums, as you think, and the better controls they had. So like, they had better stuff you could have, and you could do loads of strategies and stuff. Like, oh. Jeez, there's a twenty percent off. I got time to use that, baby. Because last time I didn't have time to use it, it run out. Then it has like build your Madam Seventeen. They roared. Not much artwork on the disc. Just Gronkowski again. But very good game. Very good game. Enjoyable. 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 Don't play it too much, otherwise you may not enjoy it. But I recommend you get this. Oh, new out of the box. If you want to, just get Xbox One S bundle two terabyte. If they still do it, not sure if they do. Cause they okay, okay. Brilliant game. Let's get on with it. Look at the back. It's so good. Uh, draw my down. I'm not sure if he's dead now. Actually, I mean, obviously he had a heart attack or something. Another Rockstar game, guys. What happened in 2013? Blew my mind. Blew my freaking mind. Grand Theft Auto 5, what did I say that? Grand Theft Auto 5, brilliant game. I've got this second hour from sex again, but brilliant game, brilliant details, brilliant open world, brilliant everything. The story mode was really good, and GTA Online, even better, guys. I never played it, but I watch it, and it's so, so good. Undisputed, baby. You see, not much artwork on the both discs because uh, you need two discs because they didn't have Xbox. What are you thinking? And then they had this stupid code, what I can't even use for the second hand, I think. Like, why couldn't they just do what PlayStation did with the PlayStation 3 or something? It's really annoying. Like, yeah, it's very good. The artwork is brilliant on this and the back. 
great description, great artwork, and great everything. You know I love Rockstar. Number one. That's why I got a limited edition of it out on the new box. Red Dead Redemption 1. Well, technically two because there was a like Red Dead Revolver or something. But salute the John Mars for that. Great game. Great game. Look at that artwork on the back of him jumping. I remember that level. So, so good. Limited edition comes up with the oh, I mean, I just, I found it out, like, I was playing it today and I just remembered. I was just playing on my new monitor today. I was like, the beauty of this artwork game. Again, the graphics weren't good, but you got, it was okay. It was pretty good, actually. But you've got to give it a chance. It's from 2010. Remember, guys. Like a very good game. I love it. I am so hyped for Red Dead Freaking Redemption 2. Like I'm gonna get Xbox One S then, but I'm not sure because I'm really hyped for Zelda. Like they have the same horse riding things, so I was like, hmm. Let's start watching this in T Mart 2 T I'm not sure T2. And like I was like, oh wow, this is enjoyable, but Hands down to Rockstar for making a masterwork of John Marston. Great Easter egg, great everything, and that's brilliant. I hope you enjoyed this video of my favourite games of all time. Signing out is me, Chucky.